Craig Nelson's Too High for Ghosts. Poltergeist. When Craig T. Nelson's daughter starts talking to her TV, a hand reaches out to cross over. with things starting to move about by themselves and a tree branch comes through the window and tries to attack the family. While the daughter goes into another dimension only to start talking through the TV. <laughs> prompting the family to bring in paranormal investigators who conclude there is a poltergeist. The determination as to whether your home is haunted is, is not very easy. I, what I meant to say was it might very well be a poltergeist intrusion instead of a classic haunting. Caused by building the house on a graveyard, forcing them to enlist the help of a psychic. I was trying to answer her with my mind and she couldn't hear me. No, I thought you said this ten gene appearance was an extraordinary uh, clarifying. I just don't like trick answers. Who pinpoints the portal locations, allowing them to use a tether to bring their daughter back from the other dimension. What do you think you're doing? I'm going in after her! Won't come to you! Let me go! You've never done this before! Neither have you! only for the poltergeist to make one more attempt to kidnap them, causing them to find some buried remains, before the house falls into the other dimension. You son of a bitch, you moved the cemetery, but you left the bodies, didn't you? You son of a bitch, you left the bodies and you only moved the headstones! You only moved the headstones! <laughs> Worth watching for stoner parents. Nocturnal synambulism. You know what? You know what? I will bet you anything. It's genetic. I mean, Carol Ann last night, and all last week, you know. And me when I was 10. Then Let I me can, see your tuck. <laughs> we can jackknife into the swan. <laughs> you twist, turn, and splash. You know, you know, once I slept walked four blocks. Honey, it's right to the Nautilus machine. Clear it, honey. Before, after, before, after, before, after. Uh, <laughs> look, look, Mr. Todd Hill. Uh, ben. <laughs> ben. Really sorry.